y'all, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. It is Thursday, y'all, it is Thursday, and that means it's our craft live today. Wow, the texts are coming in early this morning. I wanted to start our day off by just talking a little bit about Crafty Mojo, because this week, I, you know, I've been communicating with a ton of people, and they've all commented that they're sort of fighting uh, to find their Crafty Mojo right now. Even though they're super inspired by what they see for Christmas crafting, they're super inspired by the clubs we've had, like the one I hosted with Brian, and the amazing one that Miss Judy and uh, Crafty Beginnings is hosting, the Alice Club, everyone's loving it. People are still struggling. And when I ask them, you know, on the live, like, what is it exactly? Is it that you're, it's your feeling internally? Is it the weight of COVID? Is it that you're just, uh, you know, some of us when we're creative people, when our well is empty, it's really hard for us to put out anything creative. And by that, it means you're not feeding the internal self very well. And everybody sort of said it's a combination of everything. That it's the stress of COVID. It's always the stress of finances caused by COVID. It's a little bit about the pressures of work. And now people, you know, have worries about family members being sick. When all of these are legit concerns that are really alarming. So I've given that a lot of thought because we talk about this at school a lot. Like, what do you do when you have a project due and you have to be creative on demand? Or what do you do if you work for an ad agency and you're a graphic designer and you have to design on a schedule? How do you then dig deep within and get your crafty mojo back? And if you take a look online, there's like many resources on this and many pieces of advice, far more experienced and knowledgeable than I am. But certainly what they suggest is that one thing is that you do is that you start with something really small, small and manageable. So it could be something as simple as coloring in a stamp. That helps reprogram, you know, how you're thinking. Um, the other thing is, y'all, it only takes about two weeks, 21 days, really three weeks uh, to develop a habit. Whether it's a bad habit or a good habit, it only takes 21 days. So uh, for good and for bad. The good news is that if you force yourself to do one small creative thing every single day for 21 days, you will be in a creative groove that will get you out of whatever this creative slump is that you're in. And again, it could be something I suggest setting it. I always tell my students make it really small and manageable. Something that can be done in 10 minutes or less. Now for me, there's not much that crafty that can be done in 10 minutes or less, but there are a couple of things. And I always leave those in case I run into some kind of crafty slump. The other challenge is those of us going to things like medical appointments. I'm not the only one this week. Uh, between work, medical appointments, life, I actually haven't had enough hours in every day. So for me, it's not a matter of crafty mojo, it's actual physical hours in the day. That's a little harder to get over because you can't add extra hours to our, our clock. Our clock works in a 24 hour system. I think that's about uh, taking a deep breath and saying, well, you'll get done what you can and making sure that you set a time, side time later in the week so that you don't feel deprived of that time. Because remember what Ms. Sheila said too, is that self-care is super important. And for me, that's a balance of walking, um, thinking, meditating, reading, writing, and also crafting. So I have to make room for all of that in the little hours I have off. So that's important too. I will tell you that as creative people, if we don't fill ourselves creatively, we can't put out anything creatively. So when our well runs empty, so does our creative output. So sometimes what, what does that mean? It can mean taking a walk. You know, right now we can't really go to art galleries or to places that might stimulate our creativity, but we can look at things online. And if that's too passive an engagement for you, nature is amazing, y'all. Most, most creative people are very moved by nature. Just taking a look at gorgeous flowers or greenery is, can be really soothing. I'm a city gal, y'all know I don't feel that comfortable camping. And today I just spent like 30 minutes looking at flowers. It sounds ridiculous, but it was so soothing. And that's enough because floral, like flowers are so colorful. They have so many textures. It just stimulates the creative stuff in my brain and it fills me creatively. So trying to find things in COVID that will stimulate you creatively and also fill your creative well. You have to know yourself well enough though to know what helps with that. For me, it's time to read, time to draw, don't laugh, listen to classical music for me. All those things help me feel more creatively inspired, more creatively healthy. Because you know, there's Alicia, like the maker, 
who needs to be creatively healthy. And I require things like classical music, walking, um, st color stimulation, texture stimulation, reading, stories, poetry. And then there's Alicia the person who needs to be healthy. And that's when I need things like walks outside or I need to be able to rest and take a nap and eat well. Um, they're different needs, right? So ask yourself if you're really running low on creative mojo, are you looking after your creative self? Maybe you're looking after you, the person, but you're not looking after you creatively. I was telling y'all that, you know, my husband hates crafty mess. And right now there's crafty mess in the other room that I've been working on slowly all week to get rid of for him. But it actually started to bother me too, because here I'm used to everything being very organized and I like that. And I actually found that it started to bother me more than him. So that's actually invading my craftiness. So the faster I get that done for myself, the better I'm going to feel. But if I only do that and don't do any making or any reading or any listening to music, then I'm also not gonna be happy. So it's about finding that balance, y'all. It's about finding that balance. But if you're really stuck with your creative mojo, again, 21 days to form a habit, start with something really small color in a stamp that's it stamp it out and color it in you know set yourself a really small crafty goal make one tassel that takes three four three to five minutes make one tassel y'all and just do that every day for 21 days and you will find your spirit coming back you really will and also you know i saw kimberly cochran's video today and she was saying she's struggling to find her creative mojo crafty michelle has shared that with us rare rue these are things that we can all learn from each other and benefit from. And we'll get each other through this. We will, we will get each other through this, y'all. One day at a time. And today we have our craft live and it's at 7.30. Uh, and I am gonna be opening up Happy Mail, which is super exciting. And I actually have a couple of extra ones now to open up with you. So it's gonna be Happy Mail time, which is gonna be great. And I have prepped out my bases for my cards. So if there's any time left after the Happy Meal, then I'm going to keep working on my cards because uh, that helps me. You know, that helps me also. It's something I can do without uh, being overly focused while watching your comments in the live. So I hope you'll join us today at 730. And I hope this was useful for you because I, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about it lately. So I thought we should address it. We all as creative people go through tiny slumps. And you know, don't forget, we're making the most out of COVID. These are very artificial circumstances. And we're doing pretty well, y'all. We're doing pretty well. So I, you know, if we can help each other re-spark our creativity, well then that's a good thing. I will hopefully see you all tonight at 7.30. Until then, take real good care of yourselves. Happy Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday.